Okay, now here's how you can take long exposure shot on an iPhone. Now, it doesn't matter which one you have, and it is pretty simple to do it. And there are even more options on how you can do it. The first one is using the built-in method. The second one are using third-party tools. And this is also like there are more options for that. So I will cover everything. The first option, the easiest one, is using the built-in camera. So you open up the camera like that, and what you want to make sure is that you take a live photo. So it's flipped on me. I'm going to switch to photos, and in the upper right corner, I have the live photo button. So I have to click on it to enable it. Right now, it is turned on, and when I just click on the shutter button at the bottom, I snap a picture, and it captures the motion as well. Because it's a live photo, you can hold down on it. It moves a little bit. And the thing is that you can turn this very image to a long exposure shot. So when you just click on the live button right here at the top, you get more options. So you can see you can make it loop, bounce, or make it long exposure. So when you click on long exposure, this is what it does to the image. Now, obviously it doesn't look that good because we wanna achieve an effect which looks something like this. Of course, this is what it looks like professionally. So if you just position the subject in the middle or if you just go above a, a, like, I don't know, like a highway or something and the lights are moving and you capture a live photo and click on this option, which I just showed you, then you're going to be able to get the very same result. But this doesn't give you much control, does it? Because it's just a built-in feature and it's like a nice addition to the live photos, but it's not really the um, entire thing or like the professional way of taking long exposure shots. For that or for being more professional, what you have to do is to download a third party app. So there are some of them available. So for example, I will show you the one which uh, is easy to use. So this one is called Slow Shutter Cam, which is basically a camera which allows you or is specific for this type of photo for the long exposure. So the all, all the app does is basically creating this and you can customize it inside of the app and do many different things. Like it costs three euros, which isn't that much if you are interested in that. I'm not affiliated with this app, of course, but I think that you're going to get like much better options compared to the built-in feature of live photos. So yeah, you can definitely go ahead and check it out and see if it's worth it or not for you. They also have like different apps for the iPad and for the uh, Apple Watch as well. So you can like control it from the watch, which is nice. Definitely go ahead and check it out. Of course, it's not really the only method of doing so because uh, what is a long exposure shot? It's basically playing with the shutter speed. And the problem is that the built-in camera doesn't allow you to play with the shutter speed at all. However, there are still different third-party camera apps which let you control the shutter speed exactly as you wish. So even if you don't really want to have a specific app for long exposure and don't want to use the built-in camera, you can use some different professional cameras. So when you look up just pro camera, there's going to be uh, the one which uh, I remember which costs like $80. So here it is. It costs... Uh, 10 bucks actually and it's pro cam 8 and i believe that there are there are going to be other uh, apps available as well but when you look at look it up in the description when you click on the, the more you can actually control slow shutter so here is the option for uh, taking long exposure shots as well as when you scroll down a bit me a bit to the bottom in the manual controls you have the manual exposure shutter speed everything just set up as with the DSLR. So on the iPhone with this app, you can get much more control over the photos. And if you know what you're doing, you can capture really nice uh, long exposure shots using this app. So in case you are a bit more professional, get the pro camera. If you just want to play with it, just try it with the iPhone built-in camera or download the, the uh, slow shutter cam, which I showed you. So yeah, these are the options which you have. I'm going to wrap up the video right now. And if you want to know more about your iPhone, definitely check out the link down below in the description, which shows you in-depth guides. Or, I mean, here is you're going to be a link to the Fox Tech educational platform, which I created, and you can join it for free. And inside, you can find some additional video editing courses, 
in-depth iPhone guides all for free. So go ahead and check it out right now. I'll see you inside. So for now, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to Fox Tech. See you guys later.